Hey guys, so I'm priming using the model's own face primer. It's a very silicone-y base, so it kind of just makes your foundation go on really smoothly over the top. The foundation I'm using is the NARS She Glow in the shade Gobi. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I haven't used NARS She Glow on myself for such a long time, so I was really happy with the result that it gave my skin. I forgot how much I loved it. Then to prime the eyelids, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know I've been doing this for a while now. I just find it to be such a good eye primer. So just blending it out using the Real Technique sponge and then setting my eyelids using my MAC MSF Natural in Light Plus. Then to start the eyes, I'm going into the model's own Vintage Rose palette and I'm first taking this shade called Harvest. It's like a transition brown, but I feel like all of the browns in the palette came out with a purple tinge. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like that's how they came out. But next shade I'm taking is called Cameo. It's a little bit of a darker brown and I'm just using my E40 just to do the same thing. Just building up the intensity in the outer corner and then bringing it through the crease. I did find these darker shades did need a bit of building up because once you blended them, it just kind of blended the shade away. Then I'm taking Rosebud, which is a more like mockery kind of brown. And I'm using an E25 to kind of pack this in the outer corner and then start to build it up in the crease. So as you can see, I'm packing first and then bringing it through the crease and then going into the inner corner and packing some of the shade on in there as well. Then I'm taking the beautiful purple from the palette. It's called Violetta. It's seriously such a gorgeous color. I'm just going over the top of the outer corner and the inner corner just to tie in a bit of purple. I figured if it was already starting to look purpley, I would just go ahead and add some, you know, proper purple. Then I just went back in with my E40 brush and blended out those edges. And then I picked up the shade Charming, which is seriously one of the most beautiful eyeshadow shades I've ever seen look how foiled that is like holy moly so I applied it to the center of my eyelid and then I went in with the shade antique which is kind of like a burgundy beigey shade I'm so bad at explaining colors my mind is blanking guys I'm so sorry but I just applied that to the darker areas again just to build up all of that intensity and then I went back in with more of the Charming shade and just intensified that on my lid. Then going in with a cold pencil from Models Prefer, I'm just tight lining and doing a really smudgy, messy kind of line along the outer part of my upper lash line. And then I applied a coat of the Mega Volume Baby Roll Mascara from L'Oreal, which is my new favorite. And the falsies that I used, I honestly cannot remember. I believe they are red cherry, but I'll have them listed down below. Then moving back onto the face, I am concealing again using my Tarte Shape Tape. This one, I'm pretty sure is in fair neutral and I'll have it listed down below with everything else. So I just applied some down the center of my face and then used my damp Real Technique sponge to blend it all out. Then to set all of those areas, I just used my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural from MAC in Light Plus and I just pressed this into my skin using my F35 brush from Sigma. Then to contour and blush up my skin, I used the Sculpt and Glow palette from Model Zone and I just used the sculpting shade to carve out my cheekbones pretty much and add some color into my face. And I used an F05 brush from Sigma to do that. And then I took the blush shade from the palette and used an F40 to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and back towards my hairline. And then I took this incredible highlighter. I, I love this highlighter so freaking much. I applied it to the tops of my cheekbones and pretty much everywhere because it's so metallic and so stunning and I just am obsessed. Then moving on to the under eyes, I'm taking Violetta once again and using my E25 brush to smoke this out and I'm joining it up with the outer corner so that everything's nice and cohesive. Then I'm taking the shade Antique and just doing the same thing, just adding a little bit of that shade in with the mix. 
And then of course I took Charming and applied that using my pinky to the center of the lower lash line just to mimic the halo eye that we've got on top. And then finally I took the shade Lily to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone using a Sigma E30 brush. Then I just went in with my cold pencil in my waterline to make it look a little bit more smoky and applied some lower lash mascara and that finished off the eye look. For lips, I'm using this lip liner from Models Own again. I will have it listed down below. And so I just outlined my lips with this and then I went in with this lipstick from Models Own. It's in Baby Kiss, but it was a bit too pale for me. Like, look at my face when I realized how pale it was. I was like, uh, and new. So I added a gloss from Tarte. This is, I forget what shade it is. I'm so sorry, but we listed down below. And that finished off my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.